Hello there, how are you doing Cancer? It is your girl Jalissa and I'm here to give you your horoscope reading. Bless. Please like, share, comment, subscribe on this video. Thank you so much. My OGs, welcome back. So happy to have you. Anybody new, welcome in. So happy to have you here as well. Now let's get it, let's go. I have a few downloads for you, um, but before I give it to you, let's connect. bless okay so guys if you didn't know i have a spiritual store where i make candles and other products everything is 25 percent off so if you need any support or help manifesting clearing energy i got you check out my shop 25 percent off this is my protection mist one of the many products that i have available on my shop bless um do look at the reviews Oh, ice cream truck outside. That's weird. All right. So something about nostalgia, all right, is giving like um, childhood memories. All right, we'll get into that. Um, so yeah, check out my reviews. I have 5,000 five-star reviews. Take it from the people. Don't just take it from me. Bless. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm going live to do personal readings. So if you want to connect and you want a personal reading for yourself, you don't have to be present. But if you are, bless. Catch a vibe with us. Check out the details for personal readings in the video listed in the description down below. Bless. All right, let's get it. Let's go ice cream truck is giving nostalgia something coming back from your childhood all right okay you doing something you enjoyed doing when you were a kid you going down memory lane remembering something okay all right so what's the message for cancer here with me today spirit thank you I'm getting a big release like you're releasing a lot out of your energy this could be places people things or just energy in general that doesn't serve you anymore all right so we have the charm bracelet number 82 we have the post-it note number one the traffic light number 74 the shower cap number 59 81 the vision board and back of the deck, we have the flag, okay? Number 49. Let me give you an angel number. What's the angel number for cancer? Thank you. <laughs> 687, which is giving me 678. All right, so counting up. Okay, 687 is your angel number. Go to your search engine, put in 687 angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your first message from spirit. All right, so what does that add up to? Let's see. 14, and then so 21, 3 is giving me celebrations. You celebrating with friends and family members. Okay. Confirmation on my phone. Notifications are confirmation. Okay, so that's confirmation. You're going to be celebrating with friends and family members all right cancer you're being told to stop putting others needs before yours all right you have such a big heart so you may like to you know be there for others in ways that others are not there for you you put other people in front of you sometimes and the universe is saying stop putting others above your stop putting others needs above yours okay um i'm getting I'm getting some relationships need to be mended, and that is coming. Mm-hmm. Yes. The universe wants you to focus on your goals. Don't focus on relationship and people. Right now, it's about you. I'm getting messages here. Like, you triggered with some sort of message. Like, you're receiving a message. You're triggered. I'm getting as anonymous. Like, I don't know. This could be, like, online. Maybe somebody using a fake pro profile to like message you or like if you're a content creator someone like trying to bully you online or something through a fake account or even if you're not like i'm getting a fake profile here and someone attacking you through messages um trying to throw rocks and hide their hands i'm getting it's a lie i'm getting it's a lie i'm getting somebody like trying to create some sort of clutter in your space Somebody wants you to miss some sort of fortune. 
Like somebody wants you to be misfortunate. So they're trying to be on your confidence by giving you some negative messages, triggering messages, messages that they feel like will trigger you. Like, let's say you have an issue with, I don't know, your hair, for instance, I just cut my hair. So let's use it. Right. Let's say, um, I don't like my haircut and I'm here showing you guys and somebody in the comments goes in the comments and says, ew, I hate your haircut. Uh, me, I'm confident with my haircut. Like, fuck it. It is what it is. <laughs> we going to sport this Betty Bop in the house. Okay. Um, but someone else that let's say has less confidence and is a little insecure with the haircut and gets a nasty message like, oh, I hate your haircut. You look so ugly, you know, would then feel really sad and disappointed with that comment because it's picking at something that could trigger you. So I'm getting somebody knowing what to say to you, Cancer, and saying it through a fake account, maybe even texting you through a fake number or something. Um, take it how it resonates, but I just see somebody using either a fake number or a fake account to like target you, to hurt you, and don't listen to it. I'm getting this is a whole coward. First of all, if you got to you know, call, text, or even use a fake profile to attack somebody, then you shouldn't be doing it because you don't even have the balls, the cojones to like confront that person and let them know how you truly feel. You're doing it through a fake account, a fake number or something like that. Whatever. Um, the universe is saying disregard whoever this is that's like throwing shade at you or will be throwing shade at you. OK, I'm getting that right now, Cancer. You need to reevaluate your next steps. Be patient. Look within. OK, go with the flow. Slow down. You're getting the yellow light right now. When it comes to like traffic signs, you're getting the yellow light. So this is yield. Slow down. Don't rush. Don't speed up. Don't press the gas. Just let the vehicle go neutrally go where it needs to go so right now it's all about you going with the flow as you're healing hope and luck is definitely on the way meaning you you're gonna have more hope you're gonna have um you're gonna see more opportunities come in and you're gonna feel lucky i'm getting your energy being revived your passion being revived all right so maybe for a second there you lost motivation you lacked motivation or you lack some sort of passion for something i'm getting with you going with the flow, you're going to gain the energy you need, the insight you need. And I see your motivation, your passion, your energy amplifying. So that's good. That's good. With the shower cap and the vision board being here, mm -hmm, the universe is saying to you that you need to cleanse. I see you being protected from enemies. You got enemies, boo. Yeah, I'm getting your enemies are in anxiety. Anxiety. Na, 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 na. I'm hearing that anxiety song. Your enemies are in anxiety. Apparently, you got enemies. Now, you know, Kevin, who was it? Kevin Hart? No, it wasn't Kevin Hart. It was Cat Williams. It's interesting that I said Kevin Hart, though, because Cat Williams and Kevin Hart don't really get along. All right. So there's something here about maybe this is someone that does something you do because they're both comedians, but they don't get along for whatever personal reasons, confirmation. All right. So this could be somebody in your work field or this could be somebody that is around you or does what you do or is similar to you in one way or another. Um, somebody sees you as competition cancer and I'm getting you give this person anxiety. And so this person person has some sort of wishes and their wish is for you to be insecure and feel overwhelmed so you don't go after your dreams so you get discouraged um this person's living in fantasy land in la la land their thoughts are scattered they're not focused they're lazy i'm getting this is unnecessary I'm getting this person sharing unnecessary information and their thoughts and everything they're doing is misguided. Point blank period, you are protected from your enemies and that's what the universe wants you to know. So if you felt like you were being attacked energetically, verbally, mentally, however it goes emotionally, yeah, it's here. But you know what? They won't prevail. Whoever this person is or people are, they're not going to prevail. I'm getting you clean over here with the shower cap. Somebody could have like a little doggy or a little doggy could be significant, okay? But I see you clean. Like, you're clean. You're cleaning your life. You're removing. Didn't I say that from the very beginning of the video? I'm getting an energy. Like, you're doing a purge, a cleanse. Yeah. Confirmation. All right, so I see you staying away from trouble, Cancer. Good for you. 
I see you remaining rational about your emotions and you're very creative. Mm -hmm. I'm getting help will find you. All right. The help you want or the help you need is going to find you. You don't need to go looking for it. With the flag being in reverse, gosh, this is somebody burning a flag. This is somebody like... <sighs> They don't know when to stop. They don't know when to quit, Cancer. This person should have been thrown in the flag. They sh I don't know who's competing with you, but whoever's competing with you, they have, they have like literally no chance. They have no chance, sweetheart. And yet they're still here pushing forward and trying. Like if they would take this energy and put it into their goals, they would be very successful. But yet their goal is to bring you down because you intimidate them. You literally make this person feel a type of way. Whoever this person is, they're dangerous. They have this mob mentality. So they they want to put hands on you, Cancer. Like, if you give them the chance, they'll put hands on you. They would fight you. I'm getting disconnected. You're not connected to this person. And this is all due to a misunderstanding, all right? There were, I don't know, there's like resentment here and all of that. Like, I don't know, somebody's big mad at you, Cancer, and they cannot get over it. Like... So they're over here making fake accounts, trying to attack you or whatever. <laughs> it's all fake news, okay? And this person will be getting exposed in due time with the burning flag. You know, this is basically like instead of throwing in the flag, they're burning a flag and it's going to be noticeable. Like people are going to start realizing or people are going to pick up on what this person is doing and it's, it's ridiculous. I'm I'm seeing that show Ridiculousness, all right? That's a show where um it's a comedy show. Something about comedy. Maybe you're a comedian or you're funny or you have like a a good sense of humor and they can't stand that. Like how dare you cancer? How dare you be funny? <laughs> I don't know. Like there's something weird here. But anyway, um point is that with rid ridiculousness, that show what they would do is um they would share like videos of pranks, videos of people like, um, you know, doing stupid things. And it'll be funny, like someone falling off a bike and the way they fell off, you know, ha, ha, ha whatever. OK, so I'm, I'm getting like ridiculousness. They're going to be exposed. All right. So I don't know how or when, but they will be exposed. And I'm getting that people will laugh like, ha, 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 like you were that pressed with cancer, like you needed to go that far with cancer like they really had you bothered huh all right so <laughs> okay what else does cancer need to hear dag all right we have mice i'm telling you honey i know what i'm seeing okay so in new york we call mice rats snitches okay so this is a discord among friends or family okay Friends or family member, this is what's going on. It's either a friend, a family member, or a group. It's giving three. All right, we have fire here. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But with fire coming out, it's giving a thin line between love and hate. So I'm getting somebody loves you, but they hate you too. You need to get more information. You don't know everything about this person and their vendetta. Because it's giving a vendetta. You're about to have a victory. Somebody could have a V in their name. V for victory. <laughs> Yay. With the forest here, I'm getting that things are being hidden. There's like this unclear energy, unclear thoughts, especially with the moon being here. This is all hidden. Like you may feel it because the moon does talk about intuition. All right. So you may be thinking it, feeling it, but you don't have the evidence, but you're sensing something is off. Like somebody has like big hate or something like that for you. And I'm getting it here. Mm hmm. It's a friend or family member. There's a thin line between love and hate. I'm getting strong emotions here with the fire. Yeah, there's passion here with the love or the hate. So either somebody passionately loves you and or passionately hates you, but it's giving discord. Meaning there's troubles. All right, anyway, let's keep going. I see changes. There's going to be changes coming into your life that you don't see happening, all right? So there's major changes coming, boo-boo. All right, what else does cancer need to hear? Anxiety. You give somebody anxiety, babe. We have the seven of cups. Confirmation on my phone. The king of swords. The seven of swords. Yeah, there's a masculine here who's lying. Stealing, lying, or cheating. One of those. 
Um, but definitely trying to deceive you with the seven of cups. Somebody's trying to create smoke so you don't see through it. All right, we got the seven, damn. And we got who at the back of the deck? The devil. Giving Capricorn energy. We also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we got Virgo out here. This could be um, a family or a marriage. It's something... <sighs> All right, Cancer. Seven, seven, seven out here. Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. All right, there's smoke. Someone is being sneaky. They're trying to create smoke. All right, they have negative intentions with the devil being here. They're obsessed. They're doing something unhealthy. Um, this is someone you're connected to either through school, an enterprise, a marriage, or a family. This person, um, you're suspicious of them because there's smoke, there's confusion, and you're not sure what's up, what's going on. Like somebody's being um, confusing with reason. They got you waiting. You planted your seeds here. You invested in this person. So you could have invested into an enterprise or a commitment with this person. And what I'm seeing, Cancer, is that this person is sneaking with the pirate here we know what pirates are all about all right pirates they steal people's treasure so i'm getting somebody out here playing with your mind trying to deceive you create smoke and it's because they have ill intentions yeah thin line between passion and hate all right let me move this back because honey <laughs> clarify the seven of cups the page of swords clarify the king of swords the nine of swords they're stressed out clarify the seven of swords the devil yes seven of swords and the devil this is somebody in, like compulsively lying this is somebody like they're like committed to doing whatever they're doing here hold up clarify the hierophant the nine of pentacles clarify the seven of pentacles the magician somebody's paying all right the justice all right libra justice you will get your justice cancer all right with the hang one there's a lot of major arcana here with the hang one here hang in there you're being enlightened i see a new beginning coming for you so right now there's somebody watching okay Somebody's watching you behind the smoke. They're creating smoke so you think that they're not watching, but they're watching. And they're in anxiety as they're watching. All right, this person, I feel like they have a lot of options or they're trying to keep their options open. There's something about them needing to be loyal to you, but they're not loyal to you. They're loyal, they're loyal to themselves. And so this person is like losing sleep. All right. You could have some anxiety as well, Cancer, because you, you feel a type of way or you're feeling something's off. All right. Um I see this person though in anxiety watching you. Um they know you have opportunities or you got options. You don't need to stick around. You don't need to be loyal to them. They know that, but they're over here with the seven of swords and the devil like lying but this is like really bad lying this is like um compulsive lying this is pathological liar like this person wants to stay stuck to you cancer and they're doing whatever they need to do to stay stuck to you lying because they don't know what they want there's something here about money committed to the bag committed to the money waiting on something here i see you manifesting your fruits i see a mentor talking to you cancer something about snakes there's a mentor that's going to be talking to you about your money i see a lot of money here how to make money how to invest in money how to do something here with money and i see you making the right decision which leads you to a lot of money with justice and the hang one. You're being enlightened, Cancer, so that you can get your justice, so that your life could be balanced. I do see that you're going to be moving or traveling, and wherever you're going is, is giving success, is giving um an exciting new beginning. But yeah, so there's someone here, this King of Swords, whoever this is, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, why is that Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, right? I guess they could have that in their chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Whoever this person is, they're literally 
who is the devil the devil is a trickster this person is literally trying to trick you to believe something that's not real it's a toxic commitment all right let's keep going but yeah i see that you're gonna you're gonna become clear like source is showing you yeah something's been going on for a minute i'm getting a child money a career let's talk about money What's happening with your career? Overall, I see you having a victory in your endeavors. So that's going up. I just see somebody over here trying to trick you, though. Like, I don't know what that's about. It's about money. Like, they want your money or they want your opportunities. Mm -hmm. Get more information. Yeah, seek out information that will help you, apparently. I'm getting justice. I'm getting legal matters. For some of y'all, this could go towards a legal matter or a legal dispute. All right, so what's coming, what's going, what's happening with cancer in their career, finances, and devas? We have shedding. Yeah, you are starting to outgrow your work situation. You need to set higher goals and standards. You work well healing. You work well with healing and medicine. All right, so you could be working in the in the healing business, all right, as a light worker or in the medical field. You could do very well in these areas. But it doesn't have to be these areas, all right? I see perspective. If you change the way you look at at things, you could see everything in a brand new light and that will help you get where you want to be. Renewal. You need to take time to recharge your energy to get back on track. Challenges ahead require you to have faith and break through. Signs. You are putting together pieces of the puzzle from signs you are getting. Pay attention to the coincidences you experience. All right. So I'm getting a renewal here. Like your mind is changing, Cancer. And as your mind changes, your circumstances change. I'm getting the universe is giving you signs that it's time to grow. It's time to expand. And this is a wish come true. So you wish for something, you prayed for something, and your wishes are coming true. Point blank period. Your wish is being granted, but it may not come in the way you expected. No worries. It is just what you needed. You're going to have many choices. Like I said, you're going to have many, many, many choices with the balloons here. So it's going to really be on you. The universe is gifting you when it comes to your endeavors, your career. All right. My neck went off. All right. Let's get a little more. What else does Cancer need to hear? Thank you. Entrepreneur. All right. So maybe you're an entrepreneur or you're deciding to start a side hustle. It's giving. I see you um, having your own business or starting your own business. It could be a retail business. I see a sale here. So if you have your own business, you're being guided to... Um, do a big sale so you can make some monies and get rid of some inventory. I'm getting a weekend sale. You have insurance, all right? So the universe wants you to know that you're insured, all right? So whether things go left or right, you're good, all right? You should put insurance on your business. I see you doing multiple things. Some of you guys are working parents, okay? So you're going to do multiple things at once. You could be working a nine to five. You could be an entrepreneur too. Or you could have multiple contracts. But I see you doing multiple things. Yeah, payday is coming. Hello, payday's here. We're going shopping. Yeah, it's falling underneath a weekend sale. I'm getting you going shopping. Mm-hmm. Like payday comes, you're going shopping. You have to make some huge decisions. Which door are you going to open, Cancer? You have multiple doors, multiple choices that are going to be presented to you, but it's on you which one you open, okay? And I see you paying off your debt. Debt paid, ow. <laughs> Bless. Let's see what's going on in love for you. Love. And then we'll get some tea cards, okay? Let's see. What's going on for cancer in love? All right. Cancer in love. What's going on for cancer in love? What's going on for cancer in love? We have water it. Tend to your own garden. Count your blessings. I'm getting a sweet home here. Nurture yourself. Lead with love. I'm getting glasses. I see somebody stalking you, Cancer. 
cloudy times yeah somebody's stalking you through the smoke i'm getting somebody out here i don't know truly stable all right kicking the bucket yeah all right so it's giving an ending right something is irreversible when something ends is meant to go and that's it it is what it is no second chances i'm getting somebody had enough chances in love i'm getting a significant loss this could be a breakup this could be a divorce all right you tended to your garden but still there was an inevitable ending here is what it's giving nurture yourself at this time cancer lead with love i'm getting a home coming together for you so you're either buying a home or you're working on your home i'm seeing a place for you to escape so you may be escaping by spending a lot of time at home because i see that with stalking here i'm getting somebody watching you searching for you all right trying to see what you got going on i feel like there's confusion here things are not clear still between you and this person you may not know why something ended fully. You may know some of it, but you don't know all of it. I'm getting you're going to find out. Right now, there's worry and doubt with this person because they can't see what you got going on. There's a misunderstanding here. I'm getting you truly stable when it comes to love. Like you yourself, loving yourself. I see you bringing stability into your world. I see that you're meant to create a legacy with somebody. It's giving... um family tree which is giving your ancestors I'm, I'm getting you're guided you're being guided you're meant to connect with a certain somebody because you guys are meant to create something it's really really beautiful all right so you're meant to be some with someone i'm getting right now though like you're letting go yeah prosperity i'm getting whoever you're meant to be with there will be financial blessings like you guys are going to create something together this could be a business this could be y'all making a dream come true it's giving dreams into reality all right new opportunities with love mm -hmm. all right let's see what the tea is what's the tea <laughs> and then we're gonna go into advice bless all right so what's the tea for cancer Please take what resonate and leave a dozen, of course. What's the tea for cancer? Thank you. We have best friends having your back. All right, so I, I see your friends having your back. The tea is that someone isn't really into someone else, and that person may have used some sort of um, spell work, possibly with menstrual blood. I don't know what that's about, all right? But I'm getting somebody out here, damn, confirmation, all right? Um, somebody out here doing love spells on you, Cancer, or they're doing love spells on someone else because that person doesn't really want to be with them. They want to be with you. Or you really want to be with someone else and somebody wants you to be with them. Take it how it resonates. But it's giving like somebody wants to be with somebody, but that person doesn't want to be with them. So they're doing love spells on them. I'm getting that chick on the block. I'm getting somebody likes to date younger boys or younger girls. And um, whoever this is could have like an OnlyFans or this person because it's giving film. Or they could be like a star, you know, a P star or something. I don't know. But someone's known around the block to be like loose. And I see somebody does doesn't want this person because they're known in the neighborhood on the block to be loose and I'm getting someone knows but and they don't want to be with them because they're loose and so they're doing love spells to get them yeah I'm getting you getting back with an ex cancer <laughs> that's the T all right yeah somebody's in in some sort of fake relationship I'm getting obsessed like somebody was obsessed a third party I'm getting whoever this third party person is, they're aggressive, all right? They're using aggressive spells. I don't know. I should be yours, you should be mine. Yeah, I'm seeing Cancer, you're gonna get back with an ex. You may feel like you wanna be back with an ex. This ex wants to be back with you too. The finger, F you, is giving a Christmas bow, Merry Christmas. Maybe there was some sort of like situation that went down around Christmas. Somebody giving somebody the finger out here. Okay, <laughs> it's here. All right, <laughs> that's the tea. <laughs> Somebody's out here doing some spell work to keep somebody that doesn't want to be with them because they for the streets. <laughs> that's the tea. All right, Cancer, I hope that I helped you in any way, shape, or form. I love you so much, sweetheart. Please let me know that we connected by giving me a thumbs up, confirmation, um, subscribing, hitting that bell button, commenting on the video. 
show. I appreciate that. If any of you want to hang out with me or want to get a personal reading with me, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I will be live here on YouTube, 8 p.m. Eastern time. If you want to submit for your own personal reading, the information for that is in the description. Follow the video. Follow the instructions. It's pretty simple. It's so simple. And it's affordable. So, guys, if you want to join me, join me for a vibe or a reading. Either way, I would love your presence. Okay? I love you. I'm sending you love, light, and everything nice. Do <laughs>